and research like this, where a group of professors and students at Stanford made a breakthrough on the treatment of strokes. Mary Lee explains. Researchers are developing revolutionary technology to treat strokes, heart attacks, and clot-related diseases. And they're using this. Now, this is the model of the Millie Spinner. It's about 70 times larger in size than what they're actually using. And researchers are going to show us exactly how it works. Okay. This is Renee Zhao's lab. Patient She's an assistant Wilson? professor uh, of mechanical engineering at Stanford University. Her lab is yeah, leading breakthrough point, technology in treating stroke patients. This new technology is extremely exciting because we basically developed the first uh, mechanism to shrink the size of the clot. So basically we can shrink the clot. Currently, the only way to treat stroke patients is to either inject a chemical to dissolve the clot, but that can only work in the first few hours. After that, they can either remove the clot, sucking it out like a vacuum machine, or through stent removal to pull out the clot. The problem with both cases is that the clot can easily break apart, fragmenting into smaller pieces that could move into extremely difficult places to reach. Zhao said their invention, the milli spinner, actually changes the microstructure of the clot. Basically, we saw the clot started to turn white. Because the clot is red, right? It has all the red blood cells in the fiber network. But it turned wet. That's bizarre. That's basically, we, we never seen anything like that. The incredible thing is, Zhao and her researchers were completely surprised by their own invention, never expecting to see the clot transform before their eyes. And now what the spinner is doing is that when it rotates, it generates a shear force. It's like my palm applying a shear force like that. So it densifies the fiber network. Eventually, what we see is like a highly densified fiber and core. So the first step is I'm going to load our milli spinner into the caster. So here is what our milli spinner look like. It's 1.2 millimeter in diameter. It's very small. Researchers gave us a demo of the milli spinner in action, showing us exactly how it works and how quickly it can remove a clot. Now I still feel this mechanism it was not something that uh, someone can easily come up with uh, a clot treatment strategy by extracting the fibrin, right? So nobody would think of that. So the key point of the way we do research is always feel free and open uh, to the unexpected findings, and it will always give us some something that is beyond imagination. Basically, the spirit of Renee Zhao's lab is one of curiosity, yes. creativity, so and exploration. Two. She said true innovation comes when you embrace the unexpected. It's this passion that drives the advancements of her lab's impressive scientific discoveries. And the new technology was just published in the scientific journal Nature. Their millispinner is more than twice as effective as current techniques. Researchers are hoping to perform their first trial on a human next year.